Cool. Hi, it's John from Peach here. We've uh, we just had a, a, a fairly sizable um, shipment come in from Sir, and uh, we just want to do a quick unboxing video. We've already had a load of um, like our own special run classic pro guitars, but there was literally three three uh, different colours that came in, but there was. Um, I think like 10 of each one, so there's no need to involve them in this unboxing video and stuff. We're going to have separate videos of Jack playing a load of them and stuff like that. But I just wanted to unbox some of these uh, these signature guitars that we just had come in. So let's start with this one. Where's all the staff? Everyone seems to be slacking tonight. I know we've got this clinic on. Ah, what is going on, eh? Right, what have we got in here? Ah, Scott Henderson. Beautiful. Like that. Seafoam green. Yeah, that is seafoam, isn't it? It's not surf. Beautiful, look at that. Lovely bit of roasted figured maple there. Lovely. Oh, right, you can take that one, Joel. I think we'll get that straight out on display. Hopefully this is um entire Sasato one. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Cool. So here we go. Matteo Sassato, classic antique. Nice little face there, little bit of a tash, little bit of a goatee kind of thing there. Good look. Some hair, and the rest is basically just uh, chrome plated, I would guess. But very nice indeed. Modelled on his own favourite personal classic antique. Get that one out. Where is the staff? Where is the staff, eh? I'm getting all these lovely signature guitars out, and everyone's. Hey! Oh, look who hi. it is! Hey, right, what's happening? You can get these two out. I hear there's a couple of fairly <laughs> average guitars that need to, to come out. Let's do out it. Of the box. I'm visiting your uh, lovely store for the first time. It's most impressive. Thank you can great guitars in here. You can do the honors on this one then, Pete. All right. Fantastic. I wonder what color it's gonna be. Did these just come in? Yeah, it just come in today. Oh man. It was getting, as, um, as Alex Ferguson would say, Squeaky bun time for them coming in on the uh, to be ready for tonight. A little bit close, right? Yeah, a little bit close. Close call, but close call. What's it going to be? Gold, black, or blue? It's definitely not blue. Okay. Ooh, it's look gold. at that! And sometimes when you first open a surcase, people think it's fretless. Yeah. But no, they ship it with this fret protector because they're conscientious about such things. That's beautiful. So does this have stainless frets as well? This is stainless frets, yeah. um, the big ones. Yeah. Yeah, jumbo jumbo frets. And that feels just like my guitar. Mm -hmm. I mean, sir, they most got to be one of the most consistent brands, aren't they, on the market anyway. So yep. I guess you can go anywhere in the world, pick out one of these guitars and just be out there. Totally. To play I could it. take this out right now and use yeah. it for the clinic, which maybe we should even maybe do Maybe we that. should do a bit but, of that. So. Yeah, there's no reason why not. But yeah, I actually think this one's my favourite out of the lot. If it is actually the, uh, the black one, and no one switched it out for something else because I love the um, the cherry back on it. Yeah, I love both the colours. We went yeah. round and round for a little while on the gold until yeah. we got the gold right. Yeah. And because it, it just the first ones I saw were kind of like nice, really nice looking guitars, but it wasn't quite the right gold. Yeah. So they worked with me because I'm a pain in the butt until we got this and I just love it. it looks and are great. these um, the standard thornbuckers or, or is it the plus? Yeah, look. Ah, yeah, look at that. That is gorgeous. This guitar is out of tune. I can hear that for it sure. Is, but, but, it's but this one's already sold as well, so. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Wow, fantastic. Ooh, and it rings. Yeah. Do you still have um, the switch yeah. inside, so single coil? Yeah, so yeah. somebody asked me about that the other day. God, I just, I, you know, I feel guilty because I haven't been playing my black one as much, yeah. and I oh, should. Yeah, such a killer look, eh? is, Yeah, I really love the, the, the you know, see-through red back with yeah. the wood and stuff. Yeah, and with the, that che the cherry neck as well. And the cherry neck and then the bar. I just think it's... I saw f uh, Peter Frampton in the uh, 80s with, with guitars that look like this. And also, there's a, there was a Mark Knopfler photo yeah. um, where he had on the cover of a magazine or something uh it was you know with the, the the binding and i think he had a gold floyd on his and stuff mm. but it was basically this shape it was the sir standard shape with the black and i always remember that mm. so that was what was in my head when yeah. when i originally ordered 
uh, my first, you know, because because really it was just a guitar that I spec'd out like this and ordered, yeah. and then they said, "Hey, we're going to do some signature models. Would you be interested in making this one?" And I said, "I'd be an honor." Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. absolutely. So my black one actually doesn't have my name on the back of the headstock. I had John sign it. Sorry, because it was pre yeah doing yeah, the official it model, it was, yeah. but it's it's the exact same guitar. Yeah. So. Um, Except for the fact that we did the pickup rings, yeah, which I really had to talk him into. Yeah, was he not? Well, did he wanted them direct mount? Or well, that's it? their thing, you yeah. know, kind of. And I said, yeah, but then you'll have a different. It'll set the guitar off a little bit. Yeah. It'll be something different with yeah. the rings, and I love yeah. it with the rings. Actually, yeah, with Just, the black as well. You know, yeah, it could have been tempting to put the cream on there as well, but the yeah. black rings work really well, don't they? It gives it a good look. I think we're going to see of, more um, yeah. collaborative stuff, more bits and pieces between Sir and. Oh, yeah. And yourself coming soon. We got good I've heard stuff a few coming. whispers, yeah. you know, which I'm obviously not at liberty to say right now, but yeah. I know that I guess there's going to be plenty more cool stuff happening. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. So there's new things coming real soon. Yeah. Real why, soon. Why do you think it's like, um, I know John's a, he's an awesome, awesome mad scientist, isn't he? Yeah. And, I, and I love the fact actually that um, both of you kind of get involved you know, when the, when the trolls as well, you know, when, when someone, yeah. when, I love it that you really get, dig back into them and John's the same as yeah, well. It's Do fun. you think that you've got like this kindred spirit between you, I guess, that why you always go towards his gear and his guitars and stuff uh, like yeah. that? Yeah, I mean, he, you know, I like... Or do you just, he just gets what you, what you want, I suppose. Or? Well, he does. He's, first of all, nobody knows more than guitars and amps. Yeah. He's got an uh, incredible knowledge of guitars, and then he's got equally incredible oh, knowledge yeah. of amplifiers. Yeah, absolutely. Most people are one or the other, yeah. and he's just incredible that way. So that's great. He's a kind of an almost to OCD level perfectionist. Yeah. Um, so I remember once I got a guitar from a luthier that I had custom made, you know, from a different kind of guitar, you know, yeah. and I brought it to him to check out. Yeah. And, and I, want, I, like, I want to show you this. And he looked at it, and he held it for a minute, and he goes, you want me to tell you what's wrong with it? <laughs> I just got the guitar, yeah. Yeah. And, and there's nothing worse, is there? It's like a real kick in the balls. <laughs> you're looking at the lines and seeing yeah. things that I don't yeah. see, you know. So it was really funny. But yeah. that's how I appreciate his yeah. desire for. Uh, I like when things work really well. Yeah, and I, I like the fact made, on you know? like a, you know on the on the Strat and Telly type guitars. You know, he doesn't just go with tradition just for tradition's sake. He makes the guitars better doesn't he that's exactly yeah, for, what he does yeah, yeah. he yeah, fixes I've, all the stuff that's wrong with guitars yeah you know i, I had I, yeah. the first ever guitar that came in on our first shipment nearly 10 years ago was uh, just a classic antique and i've still got it upstairs you yeah, know and, yeah. and i've had others i custom ordered ones that i thought were going to be the best spec that i wanted mm -hmm. but this one that we've still got upstairs there's no others to touch it. Sounds wow. so good. Sounds so good. But you know, I got my first one. I bought my first one sight unseen because I'd yeah. heard about them. I bought it off the gear page. Yeah. A guy had a, I had in the classifieds there, mm. and it came from Philadelphia and came all the way across the country to the, to Los Angeles. Yeah. And I pulled it out of the case when I got it, and um, so it was a used guitar. You know, yeah. that I used for a while. I pulled it out of the, the case and I was like, oh wow, it's beautiful. Felt great, just like I did with this guitar. Yeah. Felt great. I, I sat down and started playing, and I played yeah. for about forty five minutes, yeah. and then I went. Wait a minute, it's in tune. Yeah. And I'd yeah. never tuned it yeah. when it came out of the case. You but, know? Well and all, all was, my all my went, strats beforehand, I always used to just take the arm out, screw them into the body, you know, screw the mm -hmm. trem in because I was too scared of using the trem and the guitar mm -hmm. going out of tune. But yeah. I kept this one on there and, and it just added then added something extra into my plane that oh, cool. I couldn't do before, you know, and it's yeah. all and it's all things that the other brands can do, but they just don't put the time in to get in like the nut perfectly the you know and using the sort of tune as they do and all the all the stuff that they do down this end yeah sure it's that those small attention to detail isn't it yes yeah it's all the combination of, of yeah. the sum of the whole you know yeah. i mean the precision yeah but is... they, they still manage to get a, a good combination of the precision but with a vibe still as oh, well yeah, isn't yeah. it because there's a yeah. lot of other makers that make like these these style of guitars um yeah. They're just a bit sterile. They don't have the vibe, do they? But you pick that up, and you could go and play a blues gig on that, or oh, you know, like the sort of set that you're going to do tonight with us. You know, the full, uh, the full range of different pieces. So yeah, definitely. No, they've got a huge range. I mean, yeah. you can uh, you can make them work for all kinds of music, especially I want to say my guitar. Of course, yeah. I'm biased, but yeah. this guitar with all the pickup oh, switching yeah. no, options. When you was playing like, with the, like the volume roll down there on yeah. the net pickup, it was like almost just like a dead on strat sound wasn't yeah. it? and then you was getting the like the riff sounds just by 
you know, playing around with a switch and stuff. So yeah, it taps beautifully. Yeah. This pickup. Yeah. yeah. So that is right, isn't it? When it's fully up there, it's yeah. full neck split. I did that because um, I found myself using it that way. When I went to the neck pickup, I was using it maybe a little more than fifty percent mm. of the time in the single mm. claw. I still love the neck mm. humbucking, humbucking, obviously, well, yeah. but for clean, stratty stuff, yeah. and that's really it comes from you know doing gigs mm. and needing that stratty sound yeah. and going, well, I don't want to pick up another guitar right nah, now, so I'll just try this right. and going, well, it works great. What do I need? It? Mm. So. I was using it a lot uh, while I was out on tour that year and using that single coil position because mm. I think originally I didn't have that. I mm. had on my black one, mm. you know, that was kind of the basis for the for this model. Mm. I had it, you know, the traditional where this would be the single coil yeah. in the neck. Yeah. But I found myself using it so much I had them switch it. And you and when you're playing, you just flick up to that position, don't you? And you That's want right. it to be ready to, to go, don't you? Very quick. Yeah. And it's no big deal to yeah. get that one too. Yeah. You know, yeah. That, no. so. <laughs> cool. Well, that was yeah. an unboxing video that's you kind of turned into something else, but that's cool. Yeah. And we're going to uh, go and let Pete do some stretching in, get his fingers all ready for tonight and eat some pizza and then we'll be all good and we're going to have fun. So thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Take it easy. See ya.